Uh, my name is David Siegel. I'm the chief of the myeloma service here at the John Thur Cancer Center. We have seen much work over the last decade or more uh, from, from a number of institutions and a number of groups where patients are treated in some specific fashion and then their genetics is examined and we can then make correlations between you know, what, what genes portend for bad outcomes and what portend for good outcomes. The other thing that this trial allows us to do is to look at how the disease changes with treatment. So uh, a patient who, who is newly diagnosed and gets a particular kind of therapy and it works for some period of time, well eventually th that therapy fails the patient. How is the cancer different? What what has changed in the cancer to make that therapy fail. Maybe we can anticipate that and, and add a drug that affects that particular uh, pathway, the, the, the pathway that leads to, to failure. And, and if we can do that and we can do it predictably, we may start to cure people with, with multiple myeloma. I think the most daunting problem and the one that is going to be the most fruitful in the short term is to take these drugs that we know work very well and figure out exactly which combinations of those drugs work best and uh, what order these, uh, these new drugs should be used. But I think the, the, the real breakthroughs we are still to come. Uh, the, some of these drugs that are uh, currently in development or will be in development shortly are going to be the things that really change the, the world.